we have a question regarding the um, how to deal with um, constantly staying in a state of trust. And um, I understand, I mean, this is something that it's not just one person's challenge, it's everybody's challenge. And what happens in life is we continuously get challenged with different situations that you're forced to trust. And it's not really a bad thing because if you're not challenged in your life and, and life becomes complacent, and and there is no it's dif difficult to evolve and and raise your consciousness to a higher levels if you have a very easy soft life all the time and not being challenged then it doesn't force you to dig deep and and try to break your old conditioning to learn how to be present in the moment and to be empty. And the real life is that those of us who are fortunate enough to come to this understanding, because this is something that also needs to happen to you, to come to this understanding, otherwise you would never know about it. So somehow, we all of us been fortunate to get pulled on this path of self-realization to work on ourselves and coming on this path of self-realization there's a lot of ups and downs and there's a lot of different challenges and obstacles that you have to overcome that's the part of the game you know that you have entered into so and a lot of times it may not be very easy, you know, because it's not easy. Because the reason it doesn't seem to be easy is because you have to break your old conditioning. And the old conditioning is the conditioned mind that has happened. The way we've been brought up and they've been, we've been educated and the way we have been uh, brainwashed through schooling, the government, the environment, the society, the media, that has shaped our psyche and our minds in the way we are and the way we perceive life, how we look at things. And basically, whenever we suffer from a circumstance, whatever is happening is um, because we believe that things should be in a different way. That whatever situation I'm in right now should be different. And I'm not being treated fairly by existence. I'm disadvantaged and life sucks and uh, things should be different. And so suffering begins because I don't think I'm exactly where I need to be and I should be somewhere else. So that's one part of it. Another part of it is that being in this situation of being challenged. Now, everybody's got their challenges differently according to where they're at in their lives. And um, some of us are... You know, our challenges are our main challenges or areas that forces us to trust life is um, finances. Financially, we may be struggling all the time and we're being put in this position that you live month to month, hand to mouth, and you are forced all the time to trust existence that somehow everything's going to work out and your bill's going to get paid and, and uh, whatever financial situation you're in, whether you're a business, business person and you have employees or whether you're on your own and you're just responsible for yourself or your family, 
whatever situation that you have that you're constantly getting challenged um so that's for some of us some people physically they're being challenged all the time and going through different kind of health issues um some you know their main challenge is relationship that they're in this vol volatile relationship situation or in a situation maybe you're losing your marriage or you losing your relationship with your partner uh, maybe you're about to lose your kids or you lose your business or whatever you know uh, you have this challenge that keeps coming up for you or maybe you have different challenges you know it's just depends depending on everyone circumstances different time in your life you're going through different challenges so but they're always they come up they're there and i'm not saying it's it's for everybody but um basically when a challenge presents itself in your life and you're forced to look at it and deal with it and it may be bringing a lot of fears and anxieties in you, uh, worriness. And so you're in a situation that you're going to do the best you can to solve it but and deal with the parts that you feel like you're in control. So you're doing the best you can to preserve it and to, to deal with this issue. But... Also, a lot of it is out of your control, or at least it appears to be. You know, it, it looks like you're in control of some parts of it, and, and the rest of it is very clear. You have no control over, and it forces you that you need to go back into your center. You need to go back to your roots. Going back into this place of in this moment coming to this moment here you know to the roots to yourself always coming to here in this moment and disconnecting from your mind disconnecting from the story disconnecting from whatever emotions are rising in you because it's strong and you come back into here in this moment and you come here in this moment and you're really present here detached from previous moments detached from future moments you come back here again and check in and you check in and you realize like okay i'm here right now in this moment and right now in this moment i'm breathing you know i can I have i can have a glass of water i'm fine i don't have a gun in my head no one's gonna shoot me i'm not gonna die everything's okay right now in this moment and kind of breathe into it and hang out in this place so so by just coming back here and hanging out in this place a disconnection happens with the story that you're really concerned about that what's going to happen what's going to happen to me you know what's going to happen to me so you disconnect from that story and you come back here and you come into this moment and then the trust gets re-emphasized. The trust gets reinforced because you're coming back into this moment. 